Morning Washington, on your side. I committed the cardinal sin of traffic reporting and said things were quiet because now we have two accidents on the BW Parkway. Both of them, I know, I jinxed it totally. Both of them on the northbound side. First, we're looking at a crash just before Powder Mill Road. Second, we're looking at a crash in between Route 197 and 198. So now you're seeing an overall slowdown between 193 up to Route 198. And then over on I-270 southbound, just the left shoulder blocked with this crash. Now all lanes have been reopened, but you're looking at a pretty big delay. Everything back onto I-70. Back to you. Thanks so much. 648 AM and we're looking at a few accidents slowing you down on this Valentine's Day. You know, I didn't wear any red, but unfortunately I'll be showing you some on the roadways. Here's the outer loop of the Capitol Beltway. The two left lanes blocked with this crash just before the GW Parkway. You're seeing a pretty big delay now, pretty much all the way back toward the 270 spur. Now let's go over to I-95 on the northbound side in Virginia, just before Quantico. The two right lanes blocked with a vehicle fire there. You're seeing delays beginning back at the Marine Corps base. Melanie? Well, VJ, a new crash now, I-270 on the southbound side, right at Route 85. We're seeing the lanes blocked there with delays going back toward I-70. Your average speed only six miles an hour as you get past this crash. Traveling over to I-66 on the eastbound side, you're slow moving from Sudley Road over toward Virginia 28. The rest of your drive over to the Capitol Beltway, not doing too badly. The 14th Street Bridge inbound, looking pretty good. We'll have more Good Morning Washington coming up after the break. 39 a.m. and it's fry yay for some unless you're stuck in this mess on the Capitol Beltway. Here's a view from the air right now of the accident on the inner loop at Colesville Road. It involves a tractor trailer and a bus. Now you are seeing delays in both directions on both the inner and outer loops because of this. Also the off ramp to the northbound side of Colesville Road from the inner loop is currently blocked because of this accident. Now over on the maps you can see the delays that are created on the outer loop. All of these rubbernecking delays beginning at the I-95 interchange headed over toward Georgia Avenue right here the incident on the inner loop with delays beginning back at Georgia Avenue as well. Bobby Laurie is in for Julie Wright. Let's get check on traffic. Thanks, Steve. I have some new information on that crash on I-270 southbound. Now, for a moment, the accident was keeping all southbound lanes closed, but now just the left lane is blocked with the crash. Traffic can still detour off of 270 southbound if you want to onto Bucky's Town Pike. Right now, the average speed, nine miles an hour. Now let's go over to I-95 northbound in Virginia. We're looking at a lot of volume making your way from Dale City all the way up to the Capitol Beltway still. Right now, the drive time taking you about 36 minutes. Your average speed 19 miles an hour. Going over to the inner loop of the Capitol Beltway, you're tapping on your brakes from St. Barnabas Road over to the Woodrow Wilson Memorial Bridge. And then as you continue driving through Virginia, you're also seeing some congestion in between the Springfield Interchange and I-66. Traveling over to the district now for the Easter Egg Roll right near the White House. Not much by way of traffic except for on Constitution Avenue. We are looking at delays east and westbound there. You're also looking at some congestion on 14th Street as you make your way around the ellipse. Here's your drive times. The BW Parkway southbound from 198 down to the Beltway. Only about nine minutes or so. 66, though, still moving along very slowly. We'll have more Good Morning Washington coming up after the break.